What's up everyone? Brian here from Exact IT. So I wanted to come to you today with a video about stuff. Stuff that we cover on this channel constantly that I'm amazed we're going into 2021 and we're at the end of 2020 and people still don't understand it or get it when it comes to cybersecurity. And it's almost like why does this stuff keep happening? Why, you know, and people are surprised. And people are surprised that because of COVID that they're, they're being attacked. I'm gonna play this video here. Um, Huntsville schools are, are under attack from ransomware. And they're, they're like, I'll just play the video. And then we'll talk now with Way 31's Bridget Divers, she spoke with the state superintendent today about what they're doing to help the school system. Bridget. Naja, Dr. Eric Mackey has been in contact with Huntsville City Schools since yesterday morning, right after they found out about the cybersecurity attack. He says the school system is on the right track to handling the situation, and he understands that schools today are run on technology. So when it goes down, schools have to step back and assess the issues. It's unfortunate that in a very challenging school year, there would be such heinous acts that would be committed against school systems and and you know the thing that bothers me the most is that there are nefarious actors out there who obviously don't care about um, the good of school children so there's nefarious actors that don't care about anything they don't care who you are hospitals are being attacked and the fact that the, this school district administrator has had his head buried in the sand so far that they said, well, after the system goes down, it makes you take a step back and think, no, you need to take a step back and think right now before the attack actually happens. Um, this stuff is serious. And ransomware in 2021 is only going to get worse. It's only going to get more sophisticated actors, uh, threat actors are going to be able to attack networks better and get into them more easily because their systems and processes have been improved and refined so much this year that going into 2021, the, the way that they're working together with the various hacking groups um, and not ransomware groups, but hacking groups because there's groups that, that, that are specialists at getting in the networks and then they hand that off to the guys that are good at data exfiltration and then the, they also bring in the ransomware deployment group. Um, all different entities, all different criminal organizations that are doing this on a multiple times a day uh, situ situation is what we have going on out there. Um, you know, it's as simple as, as looking at this article where it talks about the Conti ransom, ransomware gang posting Advantex data and it's an IoT chip maker and right somewhere in here it goes on to say that Advantech last month was uh, they, they were attacked last month and it's they didn't release the fact that they were attacked until to, until today until this ended up on the dark web and somebody was like, oh my God, they, somebody is actually posting uh, company, private company information about this company, Avantech. And you can see the post right here on the screen where they show it and it's only 2% of everything that was stolen. And they did this to get their attention because they aren't disclosing the breach number one they didn't disclose it until now until the information was made public and that goes along with what i say on this channel all the time which is we only know about 10 percent of the breaches that are actually happening and it's usually only being released around large companies so if you're a company that's doing eh, under three you know five million a year in revenue chances are it's never going to hit the news in the first place and you're the most targeted businesses you're the ones that are being hit the most um, and you're never going to hear about it unless somebody uh, confides in you and trusts you enough to tell you that this is what's happening in their business or what's going on in their life most people are never going to know 
uh, that this is going on. But what's going to make this worse heading into 2021 is they're, they're going to absolutely, hackers are absolutely 100% going to steal data and they're going to use uh, psychological techniques to extort money from CEOs. Uh, they're going to use psychological techniques to extort money from patients of hospitals and psychiatric clinics. Think about uh, a psych clinic that gets uh, attacked and then somebody's uh, psychiatric uh, health records are now posted on the dark web and now a criminal hacker can target an individual and basically say, hey, I'm going to let the world know that you suffer from this uh, mental disorder or something uh, you were treated for some depression or some other mental illness um, and you don't want that getting out there what are you willing to pay this criminal uh, who's probably halfway around the world the FBI will have no jurisdiction to go after this person and they're going to make your life miserable and create a lot of stress in your life because of it and it's through no fault of your own and it's it's because a, a company that you decided to do business with, that you decided to hire as your doctor, didn't do cybersecurity well enough. Um, and then they're going to turn around in 2021 and go, oh, oh my God, I don't know how this happened. I don't know how this got worse. Um, so this is, you know, another article. Somehow it managed to get worse. Ransomware ticks up in 2020. Who's surprised? If you're watching this channel and you're a subscriber to my channel, you're not surprised because We've been talking about this every single day since we started posting videos on a regular basis. This is getting worse. And I'm going to tell you what else is going to get worse in 2021. Not only is extortion going to get worse, not only are uh, ransomware attacks going to get worse, but also crypto mining is, is going to get worse in terms of malware crypto mining. With crypto prices shooting up to where they are, almost nine, a little over nineteen thousand dollars today, uh, and that number keeps going higher, the the motivation for hackers to put uh, this type of malware on people's systems um, is going to only increase because now they're using your electricity and your computing power to create basically free money for themselves. Um, and that's going to go up as the price of, of Bitcoin goes up and all the other cryptocurrencies. This is going to be a major problem. And that goes on to the point of this whole video is shore up your visibility in 2021. And what do I mean by that? Make sure that you have some kind of technology or you're working with some kind of an expert who knows how to monitor for vulnerabilities in every single device that you plug into your network. It's not just about the computers. It's not just about the cell phones. It's about the cameras. It's about the TVs. It's about the coffee makers. It's about everything that you connect to your network, either through an ethernet cable or through Wi-Fi, and making sure that you have visibility and you have the ability to determine whether or not somebody is using that device and doing things on it that they shouldn't be doing. Look, it's pretty simple. You can you can measure things. You can look at devices and they're supposed to act a certain way and they're supposed to do certain things. And when a hacker or a bad actor or a bad employee starts doing things, it typically falls out of the normal range. So for instance, if you have a bad employee who's deciding that he wants to go start his own business and then he wants to take uh, your files to give him a head start in his new business and take the pro proprietary uh, data that you've spent time, money, and resources to build, and he's just going to rip that off from you and send that to his Google Drive account. There's a way that you can tell somebody's doing that, and there's a way that you can have alerts triggered where a massive amount of data is, is abnormally being moved off of your network to a Google Drive or to a flash driver or what have you. Um, you need, you can't, you can't find things if you don't have the visibility and not uh, purchasing or hiring somebody who can provide this visibility to you in your business is, 
it, you know, at this stage is, is basically neglect. It's basically saying, I don't care and I'm going to stick my head in the sand and I'm going to, when something bad does happen, I'm going to act like, oh, who is me? Uh, we're in the middle of COVID. I can't believe somebody did this. Uh, you know, believe somebody did it because it's happening and it's happening many, many times every single day. Um, know when data is leaving your network and put technology in pro place that prevents that data from leaving in the first place. Make sure you have controls on people moving data and that they have proper permissions to do so um, to protect your business and to protect the data. People don't want their information out on the dark web and they don't want it being freely traded. The, the attacker, when he attacks a business, only cares about one thing, getting paid. He doesn't care about the damage that he's doing by releasing the data out for other criminals to take advantage of because they hacked a hospital or they hacked, a, hacked a, um, a psychiatrist's office and then they decide to dump the data on the dark web to show that the doctor, hey, we have your stuff and now pay us and then they get paid and then guess what happens? They just leave it out there or they leave it unsecured so another hacker can get his hands on it. Now that hacker goes, well, I can't extort the original company, but I can certainly take the information that was dumped here and go extort all these people with all these health records that I have. So that's how serious this stuff is getting for 2021, folks. And I want you to think about it. And I want you to, to start making plans for shoring up your cybersecurity in 2021 and making sure that you have things in place so you don't become a victim in 2021. So drop it in the comments. What are you doing or what do you see in your company do to protect your data? And where does your data live? And how do you think your company is protecting it? And how how well grade it from a, on a scale of like, let's say A, B, C, D, or F, uh, what, what grade would you give your company on how well you think it protects its data? Um, and, and become a source for cyber awareness within your company. If you hear me say something on this channel and your company doesn't do it or you've never even heard of it before, go to somebody in your company with that responsibility and make sure that they're aware of it. Because a lot of times companies just aren't aware of what exists, what tools are available to them so they can have more visibility and awareness to their computer networks. So that's it for me today, folks. I hope you found this informative. If you did, please hit that like button. And if you're so inclined, please subscribe to our YouTube channel down below. There's a link and there's a little button. Um, hit that subscribe button, get notifications when we post new videos and uh, drop any comments or questions you have below uh, in this video. And uh, we'll see you on the other side. Take care.